So I want to show you my all-time favorite putting game. It's great for practicing. Next time you're out and you want to improve your putting, this is the best, most fun, most interesting game that you can do. And the reason I love it is because you end up with a score. So each time you do it, you can try and improve on your score from the previous time you've done it. So let's have a little look at my favorite drill, which is the ladder game. So what I've done to set ourselves up here is I've placed some golf clubs about two meters apart from each other. And the first golf club is about, I don't know, maybe five meters from the ball. So this is a drill to help you improve your distance control. So we're gonna look at four different distances that you can practice from the one position. So we've got eight golf clubs set up here and they're two meters apart on either side. So what we've got here is a representation of a box, if you like. So there's a box here for our first section, another box here for our second section, and another box here for our third, and you can go beyond as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to pat the balls. You can have as many balls as you want. Just makes the more balls you have, the less picking up of the balls you've got to do. So with our first one, we're going to try and get into the first box. So I always suggest a nice practice swing. You can have some practice swings looking at where you want to go as well. The length of your swing is going to determine how far the ball goes. And then take your first part. Okay, we've successfully got our first ball into the first section. Now our second ball, we're going to aim for the second section. We're going to need a slightly longer putting stroke than we did for the first one. Aiming for that second box. Okay, we've got ourselves in our second box. You may need to move across just to stay out of the way of the balls you've already putted. Now going for our third box. So our goal here is to get as many in a row as we possibly can. Okay, again, we've landed into our third box there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue on in the same vein, putting ball after ball after ball, and you're gonna try and create a sort of a personal best, you might say. So I did a school recently, we played this game, and one of the guys that was on our school he managed 24 in a row, which was incredibly impressive, I thought. Something you can also do to make it a little bit more difficult is you can place the golf clubs a little bit closer together. At the moment, we've got them two meters apart. Um, you can do them one meter apart. You can do them three meters apart if you prefer. So our goal is to continue successfully getting from one box to the next and then continuing on and finishing up with a score. Once you miss a box, you have to come back and start again. I hope that makes sense. So aim for your personal best. Now, we also can do the mini version of this game for short putts. So let me show you how that works. So this here is the short putt version of that longer one we just did with the golf clubs. Except for instead of golf clubs, now we've got tees. So you're gonna start with your ball next to the first tee, and I've got it about two feet from the hole. And then I've got each tee about one foot further away from the hole as we go back. I've got six tees all together. You can have as many as you like. You can put them as far apart as you like or as close together as you like. But again, the same thing applies as we did before. The first one, you're gonna try and putt it in. Move the back, try and putt in, continue on. If you miss a putt, come back and start again. So again, the first goal will be to get all the way to the end of our drill here, get all six. If you do get to the six, come back around and start again, and then count seven, eight, nine, and again, see what number you can get to. That is our, our main goal is to build that number up to be as many as you possibly can. So have a play around with it. Fantastic drill because it puts pressure on you as you get further away. You're simulating that pressure that you feel when you're on the golf course, which is what we want to do when we're practicing. It gets a little bit harder as you get further away from the hole. So you can do this one at home on the carpet. You can't do the long one at home on the carpet because long parts you're judging distance, short parts it's all about the line and the direction because you want to get them in. On a long putt, if you're on the carpet, 
very unlikely that your carpet will be a similar pace to the green. So I wouldn't practice long ones um, at home on the carpet. Save that for your short ones. All right, I'd love to know how you go. What's your record? Let me know.